Okay, uh, as you can see, I'm in the uh, X-Plane holodeck, and uh, using uh, OBR Toolkit, I have my uh, desktop in front of me, and I've made it a little bit bigger to try to make everything a little bit, a little bit easier to see. So what I want to talk about uh, today is uh, how I have my uh, my Valve Index uh, controllers, how I have them configured. I have changed them from the default bindings to uh, to a custom set of bindings that I find uh, more suit uh, how how I how I want to use them in X Plane. So uh, we have the uh, the Steam VR uh, uh, dialog here. So if I click on the menu button and I come up to devices and controller settings. So it brings up this box here. Because X-Plane is running, it says manage controller bindings for X-Plane. So I want to edit these bindings uh, so I can show you how mine are configured. So I click on edit these bindings and we get this dialog box up. So it shows the uh, your your left and your right right hand. Um, the things that I have changed is I have changed the uh, the function of the A and the B button. I basically reversed them because the um, the the B button. Let me make sure down here. Yes, because the originally the uh, the B button was, as you see here, this uh, right application menu button. That's what the, the B button was before. Well, if you look, the B button, uh, the, the, the A button was, was, was uh, mapped to the grip. So if you look, that's the easiest button to get to. The, uh, the grip is already taken care of by the grip. So you, you don't necessarily really, I mean... I can't find a way to make it a separate button, so I just kind of use the button that is most convenient for uh, for my optional button where I can do things. So I changed it, so I basically, uh, the A button used to be right grip, right grip, button touch, So and I changed it, changed it to right application menu button. So I basically flipped these two. And, uh, so to do it, if you uh, if you select it and you click on edit, and then you click on the on this button, then you get this big drop down menu, and uh, so basically you select what you want, and uh, and then you uh, click on a checkbox when you're when you're done. So you pick whatever you want, uh, click on that, and. Uh, And when you make the change, there'll be uh, you 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 accept the change, and uh, and you're good to go. Uh, one other thing I did. Let me get up here a little bit. Come stick trackpad. The trackpad. That's the little thing in the middle there. I found it kind of annoying that uh, every time I wanted to use the thumbstick, part of my thumb may be on that trackpad. So I basically disabled it. So if you see here, use this trackpad, I have touch none, position none. So if I touch on this, and this is this mapping is only for x -Plane. So if I touch on that button on the uh, trackpad in x -Plane, it won't do anything. It's just dead. And, uh, and I find it much more, uh, much more acceptable to how, how, I, how I use my, uh, my uh, touch controllers. Now we can go over on the left hand side and you'll see that uh, basically it's it's all the same. I just, I made them, uh, I didn't make them different, I made them exactly the same. So so on the left one that's none and none. And uh, if we get down a little bit. So you notice the, uh, <laughs> get up here. You notice the uh, so so just the same where uh, where I have this upper button here, I have that the same as the grip. The A button, the lower one here, 
I have that as my left application menu button. So basically, in X-Plane, that'll show up as a button that you can use. And uh, in the uh, default mappings for X-Plane, it will, it will come up as none. So uh, you, you're allowed, you, uh, you can um, uh, bind that button to whatever, whatever you want. How I have them mapped in, uh, uh, for me, is I have the left one, this left uh, A button here. I have that mapped to my uh, X uh, uh, button to command. So when I, when I hit this button, it's a toggle. So it toggles that X button to command to be, uh, to be shown. Over on the over on the left hand on the left hand A button, I have that one bound to plain command. Plain command listen. So when I push that button down, the uh, plain command goes into listen mode. So I push the button down, talk into plain command, and it and it does the commands. So both of my buttons are are allowing me to do commands one by voice. One by clicking on a on a, uh, uh, on a on a window, so um, yeah, I think I went over everything that uh, yeah, uh, that's basically how I have uh, changed the bindings of uh, uh, for explain for my uh, my valve index uh, touch controller. So and uh, so I'll, uh, I'll I'll close this out. And then close this out and once more. So, so you click on this button under devices, controller settings, and X with X plane running, so that it'll it'll show up. If X plane is not running, you can't pick X plane. At least I haven't been able to. And then I click on edit this binding, and then you have this dialog box where you can you can go ahead. Now, when you're all done, then you click here, Save Personal Bindings. So that saves your own your own personal bindings for yourself. So, other than that, I I think we're we're in pretty good shape. So I'll close that down and this. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for following my channel. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, just kind of trying to show the. Uh, um, the things that I've learned over two years of uh, of using uh, VR in X-Plane and uh, just trying to pass on a little bit of knowledge. And uh, you have a great day.